Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier and welcome to what I hope turns out to be a good discussion exploring the future of Star Citizen. We recently got some clarity on how Chris Roberts sees some important game mechanics, basically breathing and eating. Hygiene which will include toilets and bathing are also expected to make some form of appearance in the game. I won't discuss them in this video as they won't outright kill you or damage you. Now is a great time to discuss how the related game mechanics might be added. Our feedback might change the end implementation for the better. Since touching on this subject last week during the redacted podcast, I've given this much thought and here's how I'd like to see it added to Star Citizen. Breathing and eating are factors that if added properly could expand the game experience to the player. The movie The Martian did a great job of conveying the tension associated with survival. Matt Damon's character was stranded on Mars alone with a limited supply of food and breathable air. The film was acclaimed for its realistic representation of how a person could possibly survive. I want this type of gameplay for situations like crash landings, but I feel very strongly that there's time and a place for it. I feel that forcing a player to constantly think about their air supply and their food would be a mistake. When you're on board a ship equipped with life support such as a Connie, the player can elect to remove their protective suit and helmet. Doing so is perfectly fine, but that player would have no protection against explosive decompression. Even with their helmet on, the suit could offer the protection but not run down its air supply. For simplicity, it could constantly cycle the air to the player that's supplied from the ship. If that ship is compromised or the player transitions to an area without atmosphere, the suit would pick up the slack and support life. Basically, the air meter would start to go down only after the suit's needed. The player would therefore always have a period of time before the suit supply is fully exhausted. It doesn't even need to be a short period of time, but the air supply mechanic would motivate the player to play smart and think ahead. If the player is able to enter a breathable environment, the suit would regenerate its supply and the player could once again rely on the local atmosphere. To me this would seamlessly allow for the survival gameplay when appropriate while making the mechanic easy to manage day to day. I also feel that we need some way to extend or recharge the air supply. Small cylinders that could be carried in cargo allowing citizens to plan for the worst. These could be common or scarce depending on the situation. They could also be traded or bartered for. I guess what I'm saying is air in outlying areas could become a commodity in places without reliable shelter. Now on to eating which can be handled very simply. You can't eat while wearing a spacesuit with a covered helmet which means that you would need to find shelter to eat to take off your helmet. The exciting news is humans can go a lot longer without food than without air. I'm not saying that hunger isn't a factor, it's just that it won't kill you immediately. To keep things easy, here are my thoughts. Any ship with a kitchen is going to feed you. I actually think that if you're on a multi-crew ship, you shouldn't need to go through the actions of eating just for the sake of it. It's implied that you're looking after yourself. You could choose to deliberately sit down and eat if you want. You might want to role play, so it's important that this functionality is there. Many citizens are interested in the added immersion of living out the life of a citizen. It would therefore make sense that the kitchen is more than just a placeholder. Giving the player within the protection of a craft the choice would prevent the frustrating repetitive distraction as the novelty of eating wears off. If I was the pilot of a capital ship and I became hungry and I was forced to get up, walk to the kitchen to prepare a meal, it would be very realistic, but very tedious and totally irritating. So with that, I believe there's a time and place to factor in hunger into our survival. When stranded or otherwise away from shelter, I believe that we need food as part of our survival mechanic, a limited volume of breathable air, and an eventual penalty for not eating. The standard flight suit could hold a normal safe volume of air, plus maybe a day's worth of rations. That could actually just look like a chocolate bar. If you are crashed on a planet, you may need to ration and scrounge for air to survive. You'd also be pressed to eventually seek a safe environment to remove your helmet to eat. These would add some tension when the situation was less than ideal. So in closing, I feel very strongly that we would be cheating ourselves if we took the easy route and removed air and hunger from the universe. But at the other end of the spectrum, citizens should also not be forced into tedious gameplay. When you're on a ship or otherwise protected by shelter, it's implied that you're looking after yourself. But when you're in the black, you're going to have to manage your own survival. I would actually love to hear your opinions and ideas. The reason that we're all here, playing an alpha, is to test and improve the future Star Citizen. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe to help me spread the word out about Star Citizen. If you liked the video, please share it with your friends. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.